Avengers 5 or Avengers Kang Dynasty if you want to go by its original title that Marvel really wishes you'd forget is the MCU's big chance to win back fans. Sure some people might think that honor goes to Deadpool and Wolverine, but by this point even Marvel understands that, that movie won't bring in any fans that are here for the long term MCU plan. At the end of the day, those versions of Deadpool and Wolverine are characters people associate with Fox, not Marvel. The MCU has to win back fans with characters that are undeniably Marvel, and it looks like that's the plan for the next Avengers movie on a level we've never seen before. How's it even possible? In a classic Hollywood move, Marvel is already looking to hire Sean Levy as the director for Avengers 5. This trend of propping up creatives before their big project even comes out is just a recipe for disaster. The same thing happened with the Flash movie and its director, who was supposed to direct the DCU's new Batman movie. Once that garbage flopped at the box office, we heard nothing but radio silence on the Batman front alongside rumors he's no longer attached. Am I saying Deadpool and Wolverine ends up being as terrible as the Flash? God no. That's practically impossible, but to already put all your eggs in someone's basket before seeing the results they can produce seems really desperate. It's not hard to see why Marvel's desperate though. At this point, they've been through multiple sets of directors and writers on more than a few of their projects, and a lot of it boils down to this same idiotic decision making. At first, they had the guy who gave us Quantum Mania writing Avengers 5, and then that dumpster fire actually came out, and they realized he's a brain dead moron. So they went on their search, and guess who they came up with? The dunce who gave us Beta Loki and Multiverse of Misery. Is this a joke? Is this a joke? Now I like Sean Levy, he's made a lot of good movies over the years, and I do think Deadpool and Wolverine is at the very least going to be fun to watch. That being said, directing an Avengers movie is an entirely different beast. The Russo brothers had experience with the MCU before they did their Avengers movies. They made Winter Soldier and Civil War, which are still two of the best Marvel movies ever created. Civil War was pretty much an Avengers movie in itself, so they proved they can handle that kind of film. This guy is playing with mostly Fox characters, mixed in with probably a few MCU cameos, so I'm not sure how well that prepares him for the next Avengers movie. This isn't going to be just any ordinary Avengers movie either. Instead of following the usual comic book pattern, where they go from universe shattering threat to something more earth based and character driven, Marvel has decided to turn Avengers 5 into Endgame on steroids. There's going to be over 60 characters in this bloated mess, which is significantly more than the last two Avengers movies. We don't even know what the plot is here, and unlike the Infinity Saga, Marvel hasn't spent the last 10 years or even the last phase of movies building up to this. They put all their eggs in the Kang basket and now they're completely abandoning the character. Not that anyone is really going to miss Jonathan Majors acting like an autistic clown on screen. You're a poor excuse for a man, get out. Whatever villain we get has to be massive to warrant that kind of lineup. So realistically, the only movies that could introduce a villain on that scale are Deadpool and Wolverine or the Fantastic Four. So at most, that gives them two movies to build up the next Thanos level threat. How in the hell do they expect anyone to give a damn about this if they barely spend time building up to it? You know what though, this is my fault, here I go again using my brain to think logically. That's not really fair to Marvel, seeing as how nobody there actually has a functioning brain. If they did, it would immediately tell them that a movie stuffed with characters like Shang-Chi and Miss Marvel going up against the villain they pulled out of their ass is probably not the best idea. Uh, I smell trouble. But oh, here comes the cavalry because they plan to bring back original Avengers like Hulk and Thor. That's cute and all, but they'd better be ready to pay Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans whatever the hell they want because that's the only shot this movie has of being successful. They already ruined Thor and Hulk by this point, and we've all heard the way Feige tiptoes around the Iron Man issue by saying they won't revisit his death, as if we don't all know that's code for multiversal variant. We've all said for years how bringing back Iron Man was the signal that the MCU had officially given up and acknowledged their failure. And here we are waiting to see how desperate Marvel can get. All that matters is power and the unassailable might of money. Call it Avengers 5, call it Kang Dynasty, it really doesn't matter. The point is this thing is shaping up to be a world class disaster. A director who's barely dipped a toe into the superhero world, a script written by a certified dumbass, and over 60 characters. 
It sounds like the setup to a bad joke that ends with, and then they filed for bankruptcy. Considering Endgame cost over 350 million and budgets have only gone up since then, the amount of money this crap is gonna need to break even is going to be astronomical. But by all means Marvel, please continue down this road. Don't fix what's going wrong with your movies, just throw endless amounts of characters and money at it until you've got nothing left.